Well, here's a program I'm creating for our D&D &D group that will um, advance D&D &D, uh, 3.5 monsters. It's kind of a complicated process. So uh, I've only entered a few. I'm still kind of working on the guts of it here. Um, this is the base creature that I use as an example in the monster manual. And this is just pretty much um, the creature as is. And um, currently you can advance at one hit dice at a time, so now it's six hit dice, seven hit dice, eight, nine, ten, and the challenge rating challenge rating is increasing. Let's see in the book they use an example of a fifteen hit dice, so we'll go to fifteen hit dice. And you will see that it roughly matches what's in the book. Um, the attack went to a plus four to a plus 14. Um, this is a plus 15 because in the book they don't advance the uh, ability points every four levels like you're supposed to. Um, I do. Um, I also um, <clears throat> add some feats like ability focus disease. You'll notice that the um, um, fort save for disease is increased to 23. Um, it should be half a hit dice plus, oops, um, the con bonus. So let's see, that would be uh, what, 14, be 7 plus the con bonus. 8, 9, 10, 11 would be 21. And the ability bonus makes it a 23. So I calculated that correctly. Um, that's just kind of gives you an idea. Um, uh, what this program can do. I don't do um, advancement by um, class yet. This is just purely advancement by hit dice so far. And if you max it out, you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, a CR8. <coughs> CR8 seems a little low in my opinion, but um, that's what the book says. <laughs> um, 171 hit points, no big deal. Um, has a Two hit of uh, 17. Um, that's not too bad. So see, right, might be about right. Well, it's huge. That's quite a reach. And it gets four. It uh, gets two attacks. Hmm. Um, some of the ones I have done, I have uh, Avalith done. You max him out real quick. Uh, DC 33 Fort Say. That's a rough one. CR 13. Yeah, this could be a rough encounter. Um, advancing creatures by hit dice, um, assigning a challenge rating is somewhat of an art. Uh, I'm not sure that the um, D and D monster manual really gave it a lot of thought as far as what advancing creatures does. Um, this is just a prototype I'm built. I eventually want to put all the creatures in here, uh, including from all the books. Uh, need a better interface to pick hit dice. And I want to assign treasure and pick items that would be useful. Uh, so far, the only one in here I have that actually has equipment is this guy. Um, he has hide armor. So as he increases in dice, I'd like to be able to you know, give him better armor. Um, he has a regular morning star. I can make up mash work at some point. Um, oddly enough, this creature has a weapon focus of bite, um, which doesn't really do him much of any good in my opinion. Um, I guess he could bite something. Uh, max him out. And this guy could be a monster. CR 12 um, plus 28 to hit. Or was it plus 24? That's still kind of a rough one. Uh, it's not too bad, I guess. But give him improved toughness, improved initiative, improved natural armor, dodge, lightning reflexes. So I kind of throw some random feats in there. Um, I only pick feats that are useful to the creature, but I don't really prioritize them. They're basically randomly picked. Um, I also show all the untrained skills. Um, I always forget what skill it needs. Um, I also put in um, all the 
modifications for it. The Allop is kind of interesting, for example, where no strength and it gives a zero strength adjustment. And that's about all I've done so far.